Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and I'm a surgical service registrar. And today I wanna to talk to you about how I study new content in medicine. So when I'm looking at new content for the first time, I wanna apply some foundational principles to how I'm gonna approach learning that information. And those principles are spaced repetition, active recall, and subject mapping. And I use a couple of different devices and a couple of different apps to help me do that. So the tools that I use are an iPad and an iPhone. And the apps that I use are Notion and Anki. Notion and Anki are both free for the most part to use. An iPad and an iPhone do have quite an expense to it, but you don't necessarily have to use those particular devices to apply the same principles. You just really need a laptop. And so whatever you have available to you should work with a system like the one that I'd like to show you. So the first part of the process is subject mapping, and there's lots of different ways to do this. Some people simply go through the content section of a textbook. Other people like to mind map and draw out the different areas of a subject. For me, I prefer to make a database that covers all of the different areas that I'm looking for. And to do that, I use Notion. Now, if you want to see exactly how I set up this database, then you can go and see one of my other videos, which I'll link to just above at the moment, which goes in some depth as to how exactly I construct this. But I just wanted to give you a basic overview of how this fits into my overall system. So let's say, for example, I want to cover pediatric surgery. Then I've created a pediatric surgery active recall database in Notion. And I've put in some uh, basic breakdown differentiators that allow me to determine exactly where this project sits within all the things that I'm working on at the moment, but this is really where the money is, which is topic databases. So if I wanna cover pediatric surgery, it's a massive area to work through. And so the first thing is to break it down into different subsections that allow me to map my learning and to cover things in a logical way. So the first part of that is to tag this database uh, as a different aspect of surgery. So in this case, I've got a master database that covers all of the topics that I'm interested in studying. And then I've tagged it with gastroenterology. And you can see here, gastrointestinal is one of the topic tags in this particular aspect of the database. So I can filter just an instance where I'm covering only the gastroenterology topics within pediatric surgery. And you can see down below this, I've got a separate section for pediatric urology, which still falls under the overall heading of pediatric surgery, but includes different conditions. And even though this is the same database as the one above it, I've tagged this one with just urology topics. So they're the only ones that are showing. So you can see here how I've taken pediatric surgery as an overall area of subject of study, and I've broken it down into component areas, or I've mapped it out according to different areas of surgery, gastrointestinal, urology, below that thoracic, and so on. And within each of these filtered aspects of the same database, I've then gone into detail on the different pathologies that I wanna cover. So in this case, it might be appendicitis or meconiomyelitis, and I have a page within Notion dedicated to that. So if I go into meconiomyelitis, for instance, you'll see here that within that page, I have a series of questions that I've broken down with some toggles so that I can reveal the answers as I work through it. And in here at the start, there's a question that says, what are some of the causes of meconiomyelitis? And as I toggle down, you can see the answers present themselves, or the most common answers. And so this is essentially how I've built Active Recall into my overall study of content. And the wonderful thing about this is that if I want to study just this particular topic, I can come to this page in Notion and cover all of the pertinent details that I need to cover. But if, for example, I want to work uh, on all of this content as a whole in a way in which it presents information to me organically, starting with the information that I know the least, and then ending with the information that I know the best, then I need a separate system to do that. And that's when Anki comes into the, the equation. What I do is once I've constructed these notes in Notion within the database that is a part of my subject mapping, I'll then take these questions and I will open Anki, and then I will use Anki to essentially provide me with an active recall deck that I can then map to the database area. So for example, within pediatric surgery, you can see here that I have a deck dedicated to pediatric gastrointestinal surgery. And within that deck, I've put all of these questions, including some from meconiomyelitis, into this deck so that when I'm working through it, I can only surface the information that I know the least. So it maps directly to the notes that I have. But if I want to study them in the aggregate, I can go into Notion. If I just want to cover as much information as quickly as I can in an efficient way, then I go into Anki. And in this way, I have a system that is flexible to me. If I want to cover the information more spontaneously and opportunistically, I can use the Anki flashcards in the decks that I've constructed. If I want to be a little bit more uh, comprehensive on a particular subject, I can go into Notion and cover it that way. And one of the advantages of using Notion for this system is I can also include things like journal articles 
or links to different websites that might be helpful or videos that might be helpful uh, that will allow me to cover the topics uh, more broadly. So you can see that by applying those foundational principles and utilizing these particular apps, you can get a lot of flexibility in the way that you study content and you can cover a lot of information really efficiently. Now, this does take a lot of initial foundational work to set up, but the good thing about a system like this is that once you have it set up, it becomes organic and you only need to do it once. You obviously can revisit topics to update them as required, but once the system is working, it doesn't really require all that much upkeep. And so if you, for example, want to study uh, the flashcards, you can pull out your iPhone and pull out the Anki app and work through all of the questions that you've put into your database in an active recall fashion. If you want to go backwards and just subject map and then work through each of the subjects logically, you can open up the Notion app on your iPhone or on your Android phone and work through the subject that way. Or you can use your iPad or a laptop, whichever device you have available. So in this way, the system fulfills a number of different requirements. It allows me to break down the subjects according to their component pieces in a logical way. It allows me to build active recall into the system in the way that I'm constructing the notes. And it allows me to organically create spaced repetition in the way that I'm revisiting the content by utilizing Anki and utilizing Notion to surface information as I require it. And for me, I've found this a really, really effective system to cover a lot of information really quickly. And I think it can be broadly applicable, not just to medicine, but to a whole range of different areas and subjects that have a lot of content that need to be covered in sometimes a fairly short amount of time. So I hope that's useful for you as well in the same way as it's been useful for me. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It really helps. And until next time, enjoy the work.